Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about how to identify or formulate the research problem. In the previous video we discussed about the process of research and in today's video we will see the how we can formulate or identify our research problem. In this video we will see the research problem, steps for research selection and strategies for problem selection. Okay, so let's start today's video. So first we will discuss about the research problem. Now what is the research problem? According to C.K. Kothari, research problem is refers to some difficulty which a researcher experiences in the context of either a theoretical or a practical situation and wants to obtain a solution for the same. Means a, a research problem is a gap. In an easy language we can say a research problem is a, is a gap in existing knowledge. A contradiction in established theory or a real world challenge that researcher aims to address in their research. The statement of a problem orients the reader uh, to the importance of the topic, sets the problem into a particular context and define the relevant parameters providing the framework for the reporting the findings. That is a research problem actually. Actually, the formulation of a well-defined research question is a central to addressing a research problem. A research question is a statement actually. Research question is a statement made in a question form to provide focus clarity and structure to the researcher endeavor or to research endeavor. This helps the researcher to design methodologies, collecting the data and analyzing the result in a systematic and coherent manner. Actually, we can also say that research problem is the, a primary statement. We can also say that the research problem is a primary statement of a knowledge, primary statement of a knowledge gap or a fundamental challenge in a field which form the foundation of research. Actually, we can say that the ideal research, if we say that what is an ideal research problem, actually the ideal research problem introduces a fresh perspective offering, some, offering something new to the existing body of knowledge. Steps for problem selection or we can say that the steps means uh, steps for research problem selection means how we can select our problems means which steps which we follow first to select our problem. The most important uh, step is our interest. In which area the researcher have, a, in, have an interest. For example, if I, if I have an uh, interest in literature, then I, uh, I must be do a research in the uh, literature field. Or that is up to the researcher means in which field he has an interest. To find out the uh, interest or area of interest is important part for the or first step for the researcher. After the selecting the important interesting area, the second uh, point is Think on the sub areas on the interested area. Your interest area, researcher must be follow the sub areas of that uh, that of that broad areas. Means, for example, if uh, I have an interest in the literature, then I will be uh, go to the sub areas of literature. Like I will go to the fiction, uh, short story writing. Next, I will go to the poetry, drama. In the, uh, then I have an interest in the fiction. Then I will go to the novels or short stories. If I have an uh, uh, interest in drama, then I will discuss about the absurd drama, Roman uh, Elizabethan drama. This kind of dramas or subgenres we will discuss when we will get the area of area of an interest. And then the third and most important step is identify the gaps. Identify the gaps is a very important part in our research problem. Our research problem base is the based on the research, uh, research gaps or identify the gaps. In my definition, I told you the research problem is the statement of a knowledge gap or a fundamental challenge in field which form of a foundation of a research. Identify the gap means what, you know, means your research means for example I am doing a research on any detergent powder or a little or we can say I am doing a research in a literature then I will find out I will find out the gaps I will find out a one thing which is missing which is missing actually means gap between two things and on that particular gap the researcher should be do a research. Okay, and the last and most important part of the uh, research problem that is formulate the objectives. After uh, discovering and defining the research problem, researcher should make a formal statement of a problem leading to research objectives. An objective will precisely say what should be reached researcher or researched to, de to, del to delineate the type of information that should be collected and provide a for a framework for the scope of the study. So first step is our identify your interest area, area of interest. Then the second step is think on a sub areas of your area of interest. Third, identify the gaps of your sub areas. And then 
formulate the objectives or make a statement so these are the steps of a research problem next we will discuss about the strategies for problem selection means how we can uh, make or how we can select it the research problem okay the first is statement of problem a clear and well defined statement of the problem is considered as the foundation for the development of the research proposal it enables the researcher to systematically point out why the proposed research on the problem should be undertaken and what he hopes to achieve with the finding of the study a well defined statement of the problem will lead the researcher to uh, formulate the research objectives to understand the background of the study and to choose a proper research methodology so statement of problem is very important next is nature of problem nature of problem we can also say that research of your research problem means finding the backgrounds nature of problem means finding the backgrounds of your research problem actually we can say that for the better understanding of the nature of the problem involved a researcher can enter into discussion means researcher can start the discussion on the research problem with those who have a good knowledge of the problem concern or similar to the other problems means most probably the uh, research supervisor okay the researcher should also keep in view the environment within which the problem is to be studied and understood now there are the four basic strategies to find out the problem research problem and these four strategies are also uh, important to the point of view of selection of the problem first is pilot survey actually pilot survey means a mini questionnaire means a researcher uh, make a mini questionnaire to a smaller sample size audience and make the background of the problem we can also say that a pilot survey collect the paradox data from the ultimate subjects of the study observe as a guide for the larger study a pilot survey generates a primary data usually for qualitative analysis actually uh, these characteristics distinguish a pilot survey from secondary data analysis which gathers background information means we can say that for the background information or for the prob problem selection researcher can make a mini questionnaire and that mini questionnaire asked to the smaller sample size of group and after the collection or after the collect their uh, responses then a researcher can select his research problem that is the one of the strategy actually means make a mini questionnaire and circulate to the uh, so, so certain uh, certain size of people and then after collecting the data researcher can find out a new research problem or get a conclusion of the research problem that is one of the strategies next is case study actually case study it is a quite helpful in the diagnosis of the research problem and paving the way to the defining the research problem actually case studies intensively investigate case studies intensively investigate one or a few situations one or a few situations identically to the researcher's problem situation means case study only focus only uh, only focus on only one situation they will not discuss the whole but they will only discuss the one or only a few situations researcher focused means in the case studies researcher only focused on particular group not the whole group but only only some people or case studies okay the third strategy is the focus group interviews the focus group interviews is an unstructured free flowing interview with a small group of people may also be conducted to understand and define the research problem there is a difference between pilot survey and focus groups interviews huh? pilot survey means the uh, researcher who gives the uh, mini questionnaire and in the focus group interviews the researcher take an interview of the some uh, people and come to the conclusion means come to the research problem okay and the last is experience study or experience survey experience survey is a, another strategy to deal with the research problem of identifying and defining the research problem it is an extraordinary research endeavor in which individuals who are knowledgeable and experienced about a particular research problem are intimately consulted in an attempt to understand the research problem okay so these are the basic strategies for the research problem now we will discuss about the observe the some important things which should be observed by the researcher means these four things must be observed by the researcher when he was when he selected when we selecting the problem which are those first is the research problem or the subject of research which is not be overdone subject which is overdone should not be normally chosen by the researcher actually when you are doing a research at that time 
throw the new lights on your topic or throw the new light on the subject so the overdone subject should be avoided for the research means you can take something new subject subject which is overdone should not be normally chosen by the nor normally choose by the uh, chosen by the researcher the next is controversial subject should not be come the choice of an average researcher means controversial uh, subject should not be the first choice of the researcher next is the narrow or too vogue problem should be avoided too narrow subjects means there are uh, there are only few scope for the research that subject should be avoided by the researcher and too vogue subject was also avoided by the researcher and the last is the subject selected for research should be a familiar as i told you in the slide that identify the research area means when you are so finding out your research problem at that time you must be find out the research problem through your area of interest means you have something knowledge about that particular field or particular area then you should be choose the subject okay in the upcoming videos we will discuss about the review of literature okay means in the upcoming videos we will discuss about the how a researcher should uh, should find out the review of literature or actually what is the review of literature there are lot, when you are when you are doing a synopsis or research proposal at that time you must be uh, you must be right about the re review of literature so what is that review of literature we will discuss in upcoming videos okay if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel thank you